Baba, wake up. Because I don't think you actually understand anything. There is the king. And he is at the center. And there are those who serve him closely, like us. And so we are near the center. And so our lives are good and we eat well. And then there is the rest of the world out there, balancing on the edge of things, and they do not eat well. But yesterday and today, if people see Taj Mahal and suddenly think that this wonderful, unbelievable thing was created by 20,000 ordinary men, then maybe they begin to wonder about changing their lives. And if enough people do that, then the edge might come for the center, and the center could be cast away, and then we're fought. So that's why we did this. Your sword, my cauterizing iron, those baskets of hands, this is called keeping the peace. We have a good life, Babu, and I appreciate it. I like the world. You like the world? Yeah. This world, you're saying? You like this world? Where we have to behand 20,000 men in one night? Where we have to kill off beauty like a wounded animal? Where anything we might ever feel or think or say could cause us to be executed simply because the emperor is shit how crazy. There is either allegiance to the emperor or there is death. I am choosing not death. So should you. Now I'm sorry you can't handle the sight of a couple gallons of blood, but grow some balls, Yar! Seriously! Look, if you don't want to help me tomorrow, that's fine. But I'm gonna kill the king. You think you can kill the king? I'll be right on his other side, bye. And as my oaths dictate, any man who raises a hand to his most glorious emperor, Shah Jahan, will pay for it with his life. You want me to kill you tomorrow morning? Is that what you want? I don't want Taj Mahal to be the last beautiful thing ever made. <clears throat> the king decrees that beauty is dead. Then beauty is dead. Then fuck the king. Beauty shall live. Fuck the king. Beauty shall live. 